Hi, this is Daniel DeTuro. Are you concerned about the safety of fructose in fruit and processed foods? In this video, I'll share what is fructose, how your body uses it, fructose intolerance, major sources, fructose facts and myths, and fructose fears. Fructose is a monosaccharide carbohydrate found in fruit and some vegetables. It's a simple sugar that gives foods their sweet taste. As fruits ripen, starch is converted to fructose. With the exponential increase in obesity and diabetes in the U.S., attention has been drawn to fructose. Initially, it was not due to the fructose in fruits and vegetables, but due to the increased use of fructose in processed foods and beverages. The added fructose is in the form of high fructose corn syrup. High fructose corn syrup is made from cornstarch. Unlike cornstarch and corn syrup that are 100% glucose, high fructose corn syrup is about 55% fructose and 45% glucose. Chemically, high fructose corn syrup is similar to sucrose. Sucrose is 50% fructose and 50% glucose. Glucose is blood sugar that provides energy for every cell in your body. Glucose in foods and beverages is quickly absorbed and available for fuel. Unlike glucose, your body cannot use fructose directly. Fructose is transported to your liver and converted and stored as glycogen. Between meals and during sleep, Glycogen is converted to glucose. Like the sugar lactose in milk, some people are intolerant to the sugar fructose. Intolerant means their body cannot digest fructose. Like lactose, fructose becomes food for gut bacteria. The result can be gas, bloating, nausea, diarrhea, constipation, and abdominal pain. People with lactose intolerance must avoid or limit dairy products, especially milk. People with fructose intolerance must avoid or limit fruit, honey, agave nectar, and other high fructose foods. Major sources of natural fructose include ripe fruit, sugar, agave nectar, honey, and some vegetables. Major sources of high fructose corn syrup are sweetened beverages and prepared foods. High fructose corn syrup is added to hundreds of prepared foods and beverages. Sweetened energy and soft drinks are major sources of fructose. It's also the second ingredient in this prepared barbecue sauce. Unlike sugar and corn syrup, high fructose corn syrup is not sold to consumers. Until the 1970s, foods and beverages were sweetened with sugar. Increasing sugar prices caused food manufacturers to look for less expensive sweeteners. The alternative was less expensive high fructose corn syrup. Two types of high fructose corn syrup are used in the U.S., 42% for most foods, and 55% for beverages. One myth about high fructose corn syrup is if it's not in your food, that food is good for you. Public concern about the safety of high fructose corn syrup has caused some food makers to eliminate it from their products. In most cases, the alternative is using ordinary white sugar. Another myth is that glucose fructose syrup in some products is healthier than high fructose corn syrup. The fact is glucose fructose syrup is the European Union name for high fructose corn syrup that's 20 to 30% fructose. 
One of the biggest myths is that any fructose, including natural fructose, is bad for you. Unless you have fructose intolerance, there's no scientific proof moderate amounts of natural or high fructose corn syrup is harmful. Being more specific, one myth is fructose causes non-alcoholic fatty liver disease. Non-alcoholic fatty liver disease is linked to being overweight or obese, insulin resistant, having high blood pressure, and high triglycerides. You can eat a zero fructose diet and still develop non-alcoholic fatty liver disease. Another myth is that fructose is the leading cause of weight gain, obesity, and type 2 diabetes. That's contrary to studies showing people who eat fresh fruit and little or no processed foods are less likely to gain weight and develop type 2 diabetes. Then there's the myth, fructose causes metabolic syndrome. Like the other myths, there's no proven link between metabolic syndrome and fructose. Another popular myth is that small amounts of fruit are okay if they're seasonal and locally grown. But what exactly do they mean by seasonal? Parts of the southwestern United States have a 12-month growing season compared to six months or less in New England and other regions. Why is it okay for people living in warm regions to eat fruit all year round, but not okay for people living in cold regions? It all comes down to food nutrient fears by self-proclaimed diet experts promoting counseling, miracle diets, and worthless dietary supplements. Their programs and products target people who are overweight and have one or more chronic diseases or metabolic syndrome. It's estimated 30% of U.S. adults have metabolic syndrome. What is metabolic syndrome? It's a group of chronic medical conditions that increase the risk of heart disease, type 2 diabetes, and stroke. Risk factors include age, ethnicity, obesity, type 2 diabetes, sleep apnea, sedentary lifestyle, and non-alcoholic fatty liver disease. Metabolic syndrome includes having a large waistline, high triglycerides, low HDL cholesterol, high blood pressure, and high fasting blood sugar. Anyone can develop these conditions eating a zero fructose diet. You can prevent or reduce the risk of metabolic syndrome by maintaining a healthy weight and daily physical activities. While you have no control over your age and ethnicity, you do have control about preventing obesity, type 2 diabetes, and other chronic health diseases. When you read articles or posts or watch videos condemning fructose or any other nutrient, look for words like may, might, and could. Claiming fructose may cause weight gain and metabolic syndrome is not the same as saying fructose is proven to cause weight gain and metabolic syndrome. Beware of websites promoting and selling miracle diets and proprietary dietary supplements. Glowing testimonials about rapid weight loss is not the same as keeping the weight off after 5, 10, or 20 years. Five decades of miracle diets and dietary supplements have resulted in increased obesity and diabetes. Remember, if it sounds too good to be true, it probably is. If your health profile looks like this, you need to do more than eliminate fructose from your diet. Please leave a comment if you have any questions about this video. Thank you for watching and healthy eating.